Namaste creative yogis, welcome back. And you really are creative yogis today. Uh, really diving into your creative sides, doing this beautiful uh, workshop, which is really helping us to get a lot of information, a lot of insights into how to move forward um, and embodying this beautiful abundance that is actually our birthright and it's just accessing it really. So just behind me there is the body map that I've created. And so just to recap how you go through the stages of body mapping, um, the way that I did it was I used um, A1 size pieces of paper and I used masking tape and I stuck them together to get a large enough piece of paper. And then I had a look at my intention and thought about how do I embody that intention somehow. And for me it was about solid foundations. So I was thinking about my, my um, hips and my, my legs and I just went into Sukhasana actually and then put my hands over head like that and I just drew around that shape to get the shape I wanted for my particular body map. So you can play around and just do whatever and you can actually do more than one as well on the page, I forgot to mention that. So you can have a few versions, <laughs> different shapes that you want to play with. And then you look at your journal and, and the words that resonate with you and, and, and also write your intention onto the body map as well. So just finding, just, just journaling onto the map really helps you a lot. You get a lot of insights from doing that. So one thing I also did there was, was choose some oracle cards. <clears throat> I actually chose three in the end for myself. So I'm going to choose a couple for you guys in case you don't have oracle cards at home to play with. And if these, this, if these resonate with you, use them. If they don't, don't, you know. <laughs> but I just thought I'd give you some options here. So what do the creative yogis need to know right now? Okay. Violet. Create a balanced life. So that colour might be something you want to work with in your body map. Create a balanced life. And I'll choose a moonology card as well. Creative yogis need to know right now. They need to know. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. It's a good sign. <laughs> Things, and I like that you you got purple for both colours. Look, so it's lovely violet purple colours. Um, crown chakra. So that might be something connecting to your spiritual side. So let's have a read of the violet. Let's have a look at the fine violet in here. So I can't find it. Number is it? 45. Okay, violet, violet re regenerates your nervous system. So that's interesting. Sorry, I'm just having to get my light close so I can read. Um, violet regenerates your nervous system and heals insomnia. Interesting, so that might be something you're working on. Um, menstrual disorders, physical illness and injuries affecting the eyes and the brain. Especially helpful with treating epilepsy, balancing energy and reprogramming cells. Violet also activates uh, intuition, opens creativity, <laughs> quite appropriate, and increases the psychic senses to release karma and regain freedom from past issues. Create balance and receive blessings from the violet gift box. Balance is an important part of life. It is the recognition that every challenge contains a blessing and every blessing contains a challenge. With it, we embrace the whole of life. Focus on an area of your life that seems out of balance. If you could learn something from it, what would it be? Close your eyes and imagine a violent gift box floating around you. When it comes close, unwrap it and receive a gift. <laughs> it sounds nice. Um, from your heart. 
Allow a violet ray of light to penetrate your body, relaxing and energizing you and let go of fear, stress or worry and bring to balance. Say, divine intelligence, please allow me to create a balanced and harmonious life full of blessings and joy. Beautiful. There you go. <coughs> so, you know, you know how I, I, I showed you that I put lots of words up. That's exactly where it came from, was, was my lovely book, which relates to the secret language of colour. That's what this one is. So the moonology, the energy is gaining momentum, wax and moon. Um, 98. So those of you who've got this book, you can have a look for yourself, what it has to say. Maybe there's some words there that re resonate. 98. Okay. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of. And, and though it may take some work, and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up, emotions are building too. Where do you want to go? And, um, and do you believe that you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on the desires, desired outcome, or you can take the courageous commitment to take a practical step towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are the most certainly on the right track. Beautiful. Well, lovely. Because <clears throat> we're going to get to that practical step a little bit further down the track. Okay. So that's given you some more information to work with and weave into um, your, your body map. And we've got to move on to um, the, the money map as well. So you're going to need to get your piece of paper and your journal handy again. So I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions <clears throat> just to get you into understanding how to map your money onto your body map. So the first thing, the first question is what colour would you think of when you think of money? Next question is, is, if it was a symbol, what would it look like for you? Maybe you want to sketch out the symbol. Um, and if it was a shape? What would that look like? Might be different. Might be the same thing. Might be something different. Okay. So what have you got? <coughs> That's what I got. <laughs> Some quick sketches there. So for me, the colour is green. But I associate it with trees and leaves. And so my symbol is, is a leaf. And also it was a vine as well. And the shape was also this kind of like leaf shape, really. A sort of a heart-shaped leaf shape was really what, where I was, was going with that. So those sort of things are what you're going to add into your, um, your body map for the next step, which is to start to add colour and collage. You might want to collage, get some, some magazines and start to think about these, 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 these shapes and colours and also the words that you've seen there, and start to add in some colour and some interesting kind of um, details into your body map. So I'm definitely going to incorporate green, and I got the colours from my oracle cards as well, that can also help me. And, and thinking about what part of the body you um, generate your income from, so like I said with my hands and my mind, my hand from the massage, sorry I should have said, from masseuse, so my hands are definitely how I generate income, but also my mind and my heart when I'm teaching, and of course my whole body when I'm teaching yoga as well. 
So I'll focus on those different parts of my body and start to think about different colours that relate to that and, and start to create some kind of um, colour um, into the equation. And of course you can stay within the lines of your body shape or maybe you want to go really abstract. This is where you get to play and be intuitive and see what comes through. So enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.